Oh look, there's a guy right here called Gregor380. So I'm just gonna type slash lobby and I'm gonna nick as Gregor390. <laughs> Dude, he's right here. Okay, I'm just gonna break a tree. Why you copy my name? <laughs> he just put like a shocked face in chat. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to iPixel Solo Skyblocks. So, really quick before we get into this video, I just want to give you guys a quick, like, recap, because it's been, like, a good week or so since I've recorded a video on this profile, so... Yeah, essentially, I have this axe right here, and then my monkey that's level 47. Oh yeah, I also unlocked a travel scroll to the park as well, but that's pretty much it. Like, we have 10,000 coins, and yeah, we gotta kinda, like, start making money from scratch again. But after we've made some money, I'm gonna give you guys, like, a really concise and hopefully helpful bizarre flipping tutorial. Also, really quick before we start, I just want to say it's been like a month since I fully switched up my content and you guys have shown so much support like just continuously throughout it. Switching content is pretty much the biggest test that a channel can go through and literally from the first video I uploaded on Skyblock, like you guys were just showing, you know, so much support. So yeah, definitely keep that up and uh, also just as a thank you, I'm gonna give away three of my Lunar Client capes, so if you guys want to win one of these hand-shaded capes, okay, then leave a comment down below with your IGN, and also make sure you're following my Twitch as well, because I stream Skyblock on there all the time, and I want to keep, like, bringing people over, so yeah. That's it for the intro, so now we're just gonna go ahead and travel over to the park, and yeah, we're gonna travel all the way up to the jungle, because that's currently the best place to make money. Oh look, there's a guy right here called Gregor380. I actually had an idea for a video that I wanted to do, but I feel like I could do it right now. So I'm just gonna type slash lobby and I'm gonna nick as Gregor390 and then I'm just gonna go back into the lobby. <laughs> Dude, he's right here. Okay, I'm just gonna break a tree. Just, you know, nothing, nothing weird. <laughs> he's just looking at me. <laughs> Gregor380, why you copy my name? <laughs> he just put like a shocked face in chat. He was first. He's just looking at me with his skeleton hat. I feel like I should give him a better axe. I think I have one in my ender chest. Yeah, I do. All right, Gregor, take this. Efficiency 5, telekinesis 1. Okay, I think he appreciates it. He's still just staring at me. <laughs> He's just following me around. Oh, he threw out my axe. Do you not want it? He has an efficiency 2 telekinesis 1. Why does he not want it? Hey, you give me? Yes. I love how he's just not even phased that somebody has his exact IGN. Okay, well, yeah, let's just head up to the jungle right now, and we're gonna continue breaking trees. Anyway, I have these two potions right here, and quickly before I recorded this, I did one run of potions, and this is how many logs I got. And also, I didn't have the monkey pet equipped, because I wanted to do, like, a test so I can compare. So, yeah, with one, like, speed potion and one haste potion, you get like about 86 logs in total. So now I'm gonna drink these and we're gonna do one run and just see how many logs we get. And hopefully we can get some money to Bizarre Flip with and then I'll do the tutorial. Okay, so after using 60 minutes of haste, this is how many logs I got, and this is how many logs I got without the monkey. So, this monkey pet, literally every single time, is gonna give me an extra 30 enchanted logs, which is huge, because this thing only costs like 100 or 200k. So yeah, we're just gonna travel to the Skyblock Hub, and we're gonna see how much this sells for, because hopefully it's enough for me to start Bizarre Flipping, because you need like, at least maybe 200k to actually like, make it worthwhile. You earn 216k coins, okay. That's kind of perfect. So once my 200 jungle wood sells, we can go ahead and merchant flip for a bit, and then I should be at about 300k, which is good enough for me to bizarre flip, so. Straight away it sold, there we go, 216k. And if you guys have watched any other videos on my channel, you'll probably know what merchant flipping is, so basically I just buy packed ice and like other random items that are kind of like high in demand and not easy to get. So I just spent 6k on this packed ice, and if I sell at the bazaar, I earn 19k. So I'm up to 230 now, and I'm just gonna repeat this with like tons of different items. Also, I think I might have a bit of money saved in my bank from last episode because I was breaking a ton of trees and yeah, 108k, all right, that's good. Okay, now it's time for the actual tutorials. So I just went into a private lobby so there's no people running around. So that's why there's no one here. And yeah, I guess we'll just get straight into it. So like, as you guys probably already know, the bazaar is a place that you can find right behind the auction house right here. There's an NPC in the middle who you can talk to if you have your mining skill, farming skill and also your foraging skill at level 7 or above. So yeah, if you guys haven't done that yet, then it takes like half an hour, so. Watch my solo series episode 1 if you guys want to know the fastest method of doing that. But yeah, we have the bazaar right here. If I right click him, it opens up a menu, and as you can see right here on the side, we have all of the different categories. And inside of each one of these, you have every commodity item in the game, so everything you can use to craft things or like trade with NPCs is pretty much here. Now you want to toggle on advanced mode right here, because what it does is it lets you see 
the amount of like orders that each item has got and that's quite important for later on so make sure this is set to the gold ore. This right here is just a history thing and this right here you don't have to worry about till later. And this button right here lets you sell your entire inventory. It's pretty self-explanatory, like, it's just for convenience, and obviously it doesn't sell your tools or, like, random items that aren't in this menu. So I just set my GUI scale to auto so you guys can see it, and it's way bigger. And, um, yeah, if we just go into this menu right here, and we open up just a random thing like Enchanted Gold, you guys can see that there are four different functions right here. So we have Buy Instantly, Sell Instantly, Buy Order, and Sell Offer. Now, once you understand this, bizarre flipping becomes really easy. So obviously buy instantly and sell instantly are really simple. Like it tells you the price of things that you're buying and then you can just, you know, select the amount and either fill your inventory or do a custom amount and it's pretty simple. Sell instantly just tells you the price that you're selling at and then you just click it and you know, whatever you have just gets traded for coins. So buy orders and sell offers look really complicated, but I promise they're like super easy to understand. So basically what a buy order is, is you're buying from the people who sell instantly. And what a sell offer is, is you're selling to the people who buy instantly. So essentially if you use these two, you're paying extra or you know, like wasting money for the convenience of doing it instantly. So. If you have like a full inventory of, you know, really messy items, like you have some coal and lapis and you've just come back from a mining trip and you want to just sell it instantly, then obviously it's good because it saves you just all of the hassle of like making an order and everything. Hopefully that makes sense and if it still doesn't, then don't worry because I'll just show you the bizarre flipping methods. So right now we're going to bizarre flip enchanted cobblestone. So if I go into this and make a buy order, then I select a big stack, which costs me 149k. The only button you have to worry about right here is top order plus 0.1. So what this does is when somebody comes to instantly sell their cobblestone, it automatically gives it to me because I'm the current cheapest deal. It's a way of becoming the top without losing profit. So yeah, once you've placed your order, um, you just go into this book right here and you can see when people are selling to you. So these people right here have instantly sold their cobblestone to me and I bought it for, I think it says in chat, 35k. All right, so if we go back into cobblestone right here, and we make a sell offer, and we do best offer minus 0.1. And as you can see right here, it's 100% filled. So if I claim this, I just made like about 1.5k coins. Now that probably wasn't a good example because first of all, I only like spent 35k, like obviously it scales up. But you guys get the point, like I made 2k profit from that. So the next thing that you want to do when you're bizarre flipping is you want to hover over all of the items. And if you see like a huge gap between the buy price and sell price, then it's usually going to be something that's quite profitable. So you can see right here, there's almost a 350 coin gap for Enchanted Obsidian. So if I go ahead and just place an order for a stack of this for 240k, then it should fill kind of quickly because obviously it's really easy to get obsidian in this game. Okay, I have 17 right now. If I just refresh it, we have 29. There we go. Okay, so this is a good example. We have 29 right now and I'm just going to cancel the rest. And then if I go ahead and make a sell offer and just use the gold tooth, then you can see I bought this for 108k and I'm selling it for 117 and it's filled already. So in a couple of seconds, I literally just made 10k coins. So yeah, you just got to find like things that are kind of good. Just look for a gap, like it's so simple. And the price between buy orders and sell offers is always going to be profitable. So you don't ever really have to worry when you're bizarre flipping about losing money. Like it's not risky at all. Yeah, there's a couple more things that you guys got to understand to be able to like properly bizarre flip. So when you're doing the top order thing, usually other players can do the exact same thing and they'll get on top of yours. And basically what you'll have to do is about every 30 seconds or so, you just go into this and then you cancel it and then you make a new one. So I'll just try and give you guys a good example. Like, see, so yeah, as you can see, if I just refresh this, it's not going up at all. Like nobody's buying my obsidian. So basically the reason why is because somebody's topped my order. And essentially all you got to do is just click on this, cancel it, and then just make another one and do the best offer minus 0.1. And the price goes down very, very slightly, but it just means that yours is filled first. And if you guys want a way to check if your order has been topped, you just need to look at the offer amount, so minus 56. And if I go back into Obsidian right here, you can see my 56 is second to top. So if somebody's topped my order, and that just means that, you know, if somebody comes to instantly buy six, then I'm not going to be able to sell mine. So I just need to do it again. And now if I go back into this, you guys can see that mine is now the top above that 127. So yeah, and especially when you have like a really profitable item like this, you're pretty much always going to get topped. So you just need to keep cancelling and remaking your orders, but I think this one worked, yeah. So let me just recap you guys on the bizarre flipping process. So you just go over to the NPC and you pick what you want to bizarre flip. So we're just going to do obsidian. You make sure that the margin between the buy price and the sell price is quite good, which in this case it is. And then you just make a buy order, do a stack or, you know, however much you can afford. For me, I can't afford a big stack, so I'll just do a stack. Click the gold tooth and then you make your buy order. So yeah, we have a stack of enchanted obsidian now, and all I gotta do is just do this, and then you can make your sell offer, best offer minus 0 
And there you go. Also, there's actually a bizarre flipping website that you can use to determine like what's worth bizarre flipping, which things are profitable at the moment, and like you can technically look through there. But I think it's kind of overrated in my opinion. Like literally, all you have to do is just hover over things and just see if there's a good gap. And if there isn't, then you just switch to something else. And you just kind of use common sense to determine like if people are going to be instantly buying it because. Obviously, like, with things like Obsidian or Endstone, people want to buy this for the Endemite pet. Birchwood right here, people want to buy it for the scroll, so there's a good gap between that. And yeah, you just gotta kind of just think. But you just gotta look at the gap, and also think, like, are people gonna be instantly selling this? So, things like Lapis right here, you can see the gap isn't that good, but because so many people sell Lapis, and so many people sell things like Iron, like, literally, if I just go ahead and refresh this, we have 20, and if I refresh it again, we have 50, and if I refresh it again, we have, oh, still 50. But it fills up so quickly that you can do it really rapidly and you can make money that way. But obviously things like Obsidian, you can just be patient and make ridiculous profits. So if you guys have any questions about Bizarre Flipping, then leave them in the comments. Um, Hopefully I explained that kind of well. Like, I don't think there's really much else to it. Like, you just gotta look for the gap. Place your buy order and then once you've bought stuff, you just click on it, make a sell offer. And yeah, just sell it for more. That's pretty much it. So I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and Bizarre Flip for half an hour. And I'll be back once I've done that, and we're just gonna see how much, like, profit I make. Okay, I'm low-key kind of falling asleep while doing this, so I don't want to drag out the video any longer, otherwise I just won't get it out tonight. So, uh, yeah, I made, like, 170k, I think, in just over 15 minutes. And I'd say that's pretty good, to be honest. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy that video, then leave a like down below, and if the tutorial was helpful as well, then definitely let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later. Peace.